Good afternoon, it's your boy Wookie of the Triple XL Variety back once again with another Don't Be Whack Wednesdays where I go through the Eve Tech Store and tell you what's hot happening and give you my top 10 picks. After that uh, extremely high energy intro, we move swiftly on to the new Eve Tech Rex, which is coming well to the Eve Tech Store right now. It's already available on the Eve Tech Store, and I have been given a sample which I'm going to do an open air test and then put the build into the actual system itself and then do a test on the performance of the standard cooling apparatus and everything that comes with the case and give you my thoughts on it. So we'll be doing a review on this probably next week sometime. Starting off at number 10, I'm throwing in this Marvo TKL. It's 550 bucks for a full RGB mechanical TKL that's also on a flat deck. It looks like it's got an aluminium finish on it. The bang for buck here, once again, is just absolutely incredible. Uh, I have no idea about the quality of the keys or anything like that, but it's mechanical and it's 550 bucks. At number nine, it's something I've actually used. It's a 750 watt power supply from Gamdias, like really good bang for buck on these, pretty good warranty as well, three year local warranty, 1200 bucks for 80 plus bronze certified 750 watt, um, 80 plus being the very baseline test for like 80% efficiency, bronze is just a little bit better than that, uh, it's got a lot better coils and everything inside of it, so it's going to be able to protect you from some surges from the plug and that sort of stuff, just a bit better, it's got a switch on the back for the RGB lighting, uh, even the 500 watt on this is really good, but this one in particular is just really good bang for buck and for 99 percent of gaming systems i mean you could even literally power a 3090 with a 5900x or 10900k off of this absolutely no problems coming in on the eighth spot it's an antec a400 rgb cpu cooler it's a great standard uh, tower cooler put this on a mate 7700k was pretty easy to do and it's got direct contact with the heat pipes which is one of the best parts of it so it can spread that into the fins really nicely as you can see it is quite quite a big boy tower cooler luckily it doesn't stick over the first set of ram dims so if you've got really tall dims you should be fine it should still have the clearance um at 550 bucks with a 120 mil fan in the kit it's a pretty decent deal and three year local warranty at number seven it's the icon wireless which i've actually been doing a giveaway on our channels if you have missed it i'm very sorry because we're going to be drawing the uh, winners probably at about the time that this video gets published but these are absolutely fantastic these wireless for for 600 bucks like they're honestly scarcely believable the 17 hours battery life is like pretty accurate i've got 15 and a half with me using them on like a super high volume constantly playing music etc the wireless was very strong especially for the audio the mic cuts out a little bit earlier which is weird but i've got all of those that information in the video over here for the with a full review of the headset and like how the cups feel etc I, co I cover pretty much everything on this headset but the, for the the value for money here is absolutely astounding rounding out the top half at number six it's a clev nvme it's a 1tb it's as you can see with the read and write it's not the fastest ever but it's a 1tb nvme for 2000 rand I don't think that there is a 1TB with this read and write speed in the market at the moment at this kind of price point. So this seems very, very strong. And then five year local warranty as well, obviously means Clev is pretty confident in their product. Uh, it's well, what I would say is somewhat of a standard warranty, but it's just, I don't know. It just feels like insane value for 2000 Rand. Also, you don't have to use a SATA connection for a 2.5 drive or connect power to it. You literally just slap it on your motherboard and you're good to go. I really like this brand at the moment. It's uh, all MRT stuff as well, made in Taiwan. So, you know, it's got that like Asus MSI quality to it. Breaking into the top half at number five, it's my favorite gaming monitor right now. It's the one I'm using to do this video on. It's this Dell S2721 HGF. It's quite a mouthful, but it's also quite a monitor. Proper G-Sync enabled, NVIDIA Reflex Boost works fantastically. I played some COD with it on and did some slapping. So I, I, I'm just I'm just having a really good time with this keyboard. I think that, or keyboard, um, monitor. I may have had some tuck before filming today, but, but this monitor is absolutely fantastic. It's the best way to go 144 right now. The one millisecond response time is on the MPRT mode. So 
uh don't believe the jargon but you don't need better than four anyway va panel it is a little bit slower response time in some games i've had to cap my frame limit frame rate especially when i wasn't using g-sync but g-sync eliminates all of those things and just makes it really really nice so yeah curved periscope neck it's it's nah it's very nah at number four i'm throwing in this upgrade kit because it's got a b550 motherboard so you've got the new pci express edition it's got proper cooling as well comes with a 240 more radiator and then it's the best gaming processor in the world right now for 14 and a half and somehow there's ram included in that as well the processor alone like retail price is like 12k so how for like three grand uh, not even like have you thrown in a proper motherboard with an m.2 heatsink and ram and a cooler you take straight savage and continue at number three with just like straight savage ryzen 5 3600 still a really good six core 12 thread processor can do anything gaming whatever you wanted to do you can do development workloads on this it runs absolutely fantastic little chip easier to keep cool than jacob zuma in a court case b550a pro i mean like it's a really solid spec motherboard nice port setup like it's got every it checks every box that i'm looking for when i go motherboard shopping to be very honest with you and then like the only thing that you're going to look to upgrade at some point in the future is the ram but it's still 16 gig so there's nothing it can't do out of box it it does have some nice upgrade parting because you've got proper force dim slots as well you can put pretty much any processor that's come out or is on sale from amd on the motherboard plus it's got a great motherboard for six thousand eight hundred bucks like this is a really solid base platform for gaming if you're looking at like i would say until kind of uh 3060 ti that sort of level the, this wouldn't struggle at all you'll have almost no cpu bottleneck like steve tech straight savage at number two i've thrown in this intake case i haven't really featured intake cases because not all of the, i didn't like the layouts of of a lot of them to be very honest with you but this nx410 see they did something crucial that you need here they've created proper ex like expansion for fans at the top so that you can expel hot air properly two 140s or two 120s plus now with this case there's a 355 mil i believe it was or 335 mil support for gpus so you can put a proper fat boy gpu in uh my 2070 super gaming x i think is 320 mil so it would fit and nicely like there would still be a decent gap between the fan and and where the gpu is obviously full atx motherboard uh there is a convertible um rack for the 3.5 but it looks like on the base 3.5 uh, at least it's only for one at the back which might be a bit of an issue for you nice ssd space but why i say this is critical right is because you generally want your air intake to go in the front and then expel out the back like that as it heats up so you're getting nice fresh air fed onto your core component or your critical components being your ram your cpu and your gpu and this fan this case can do it now and what's even nicer about it to be honest is the fact that what you see is what you get there's two 140s up front so you've got plenty of intake and a 120 at the back the only thing you would need to add to this case in my opinion would be another 120 at the top and then you'll have more in than you've got out as well so there'll be some nice static pressure building up in there to keep the dust out of the mist out of the system as well like and you can get it in a white or a black finish it's like got a really nice look and feel tempered uh, side pan a glass side panel with the swing arm door set up like it looks really promising actually uncle evtech i really wouldn't mind one of these for review if you would send it through i think that the performance on this will be absolutely fantastic even with the included fan kit all of that for 950 bucks like and the, other, the black one's 900 rand as well like it seems like really good bang for buck at number one, I've thrown in this Corsair Dark Core RGB. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Corsair over the last couple of years. They've been uh, applying Corsair tax at, at liberty to some of their components, but this is the exact opposite by all measurements. A friend of mine bought one of these recently, I think the SE, the slightly updated version, but the look and feel and everything on the product is pretty damn good. And for 1,300 Rand for a proper wireless mouse, that has a proper sensor in it maybe the weight and shape and everything is not for you but if you're looking for something like wireless that's going to be good like i highly suggest this i found it extremely comfortable the ergos like sort of like style of the mouse where you can uh, swap out some of the side pieces is nice like it's it's a really good package for 1300 bucks 
I don't see a better wireless mouse at the moment and it's also got Bluetooth so it can connect without the dongle to a laptop or something to that effect. Really nice, really nice crossover product to your local warranty as well. Solid. Anywho, that is all I have for you today. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit us up with the like and subscribe and I'll see you again on Friday.